gems! Welcome back, it's Serena. Today we're here with our monthly Ipsy and BoxyCharm unboxing video. I love sharing with you guys what I got and honestly, I almost didn't even make it to July because it's kind of late. I'm, I apologize. Um, I've had these for about a week and I just hadn't had time to sit down and film. And also, it's been super hot, so it's a little bit hard to keep my fans off for this. So. But they're very loud, so if I leave them on, you guys can hear it. It's distracting. So is my cat. She's in heat. She's going to be crying. I apologize, guys. Let's hop into it. Why don't we? Because I'm dying to see what I actually got. And I always wait to open it on camera. So, Ipsy first. Here we go. We've got Hot Summer Nights. Yeah, we've definitely had those. That is the theme for this month. So we've cranked up the cool in, on ipsy.com with new insider how-to tips, tricks, and videos. Everything you need to know to master your summer beauty. Get more of your July glam bag at Ipsy. Did I say July or June? Hopefully I said July at the beginning of the video. I don't know. It's definitely my July packages. Alright, this is the bag. This is actually kind of cute. Holographic, kind of. Very, I don't know. Late 80s, early 90s-ish? Kind of reminds you of like my childhood. That's around the time I was a child. So yeah, let's hop into it. Uh, okay, first off, I'm seeing this banana setting powder. Poudre fixant banana. This is from uh, bellapierre.com. So banana setting powder. I'm not even going to open this. I'm going to offer it to someone else because I know I don't like the way the banana setting powders look on me. So... I already know for sure that's going to be given to someone who might be more interested. Then we've got a a nicely packaged little item here. Looks like an eyeshadow. Baked. This is the Mellow yep, Plum Bake Eyeshadow. It's pretty. I like plum colors. We'll see if that works out. You guys want me to swatch it? Why not? Easy to open packaging, so... Actually, this reminds me of the e.l.f. packaging, the 99 cent stuff. There you have it. Ooh, that was creamy. That's actually really pretty. So yay for that. Alright, then we've got an eyeshadow, or some kind of brush. This is the Luxie, LuxieBeauty.com Small Angle Brush. Ooh, I love these. I love angle brushes. Very, very nice, very thin, very slim. The bristles come to a nice thin point. I'll be able to use this for a gel liner for sure, which is always nice, always exciting, so love that. And I've had other Luxie brushes come in these packages, and they're really good quality, so yay for that. Then we've got Don't Stop Radio, When Life Gives You One Too Many Lemons and You've Misplaced Your Happy Place, Joy Inducing Hand and Body Lotion. <laughs> That's cute. All right. And this, whoop. Squirted all over my shirt. Thank you. But it does smell nice. So, alrighty. I'll be smelling nice for the rest of the day. Yeah, careful as you squeeze it out. It definitely does have a lemony, kind of citrusy, citrusy scent. And I still have eyeshadow on this hand. So, let me just grab some paper. To wipe that off real quick. Thank goodness it's a white shirt and white lotion. Right? Stains are not fun. Alright, and last but not least, we've got the Hangover RX Coconut Water Probiotic Based Ingredient Skin Reviving Primer. Right? Yeah, from Too Faced. That's cool. I've been wanting to try this for a while. Even though I do have oily skin, so I'm kind of worried because it's a radiant, hydrating primer. But we'll see if it works out. So yay for that. And that is everything in the Ipsy bag this month. Some pretty cool stuff. I'm excited about the eyeshadow and the hand cream and the primer. Also the brush. The only one that I'm kind of like, mm, yeah, that's not for me, is the setting powder. Which, you know, 4 out of 5 isn't bad. I've had other months where I'm like, what happened? So, that's actually a pretty good deal. And now moving to BoxyCharm. Let's see. As usual, I actually really hate this crunchy stuff. It gets all over the place, so if we could stop with that box of charm, it'd be awesome. Um, but <laughs> moving on. Once we move that out of the way, it says, Modern Merbabe, mer let's make waves. Enter for a chance to win exclusive box of charm with over 250 bucks. 
and then all the info's on the back. So I'll read this off to you guys as I pick out a product. And the first one catching my eye is this one that's slightly open, but okay. And this is Noya Live Divinely Natural Lip Gloss. And this says here, a natural lip gloss made without sulfates, parabens, or phthalates. Packaging is composed of earth-friendly bamboo. And, ooh, that is really pretty. Look at that. Wow, that is really, really nice. This is in the shade Malbec. And, ooh, that's pretty. All right. Hmm. Seems like it'll sheer out nicely, but still has a pretty decent amount of pigmentation. It's pretty bright pinkish fuchsia. I don't know. It looks way more pink on camera. In person, it looks a bit... No, I lie. It's pretty pink. <laughs> but it's pretty. That'll be really nice over some... Maybe like a liner or something. But it looks really nice. Even on its own, it's bright enough to be worn. But I actually haven't been... Even though I'm wearing gloss today, I haven't been too into glosses lately. I just had to apply this one because my lip color wasn't working out, so... Next we've got, let's see, Mali Beauty Rounded Blender Brush, designed for blending out eyeshadows with a rounded brush head and a luxurious, luxuriously soft bristles. It is shaped to apply the perfect amount of color every time. That's quite nice. Let's see. Soft, not scratchy. That's cool. Mali's expensive, so yeah, this is 15 bucks. This little thing. Um, if you're curious about the gloss, it is a $16 gloss. And this month we only got four items. Let's see, we've got... PYT Oil Treatment. This is an argan oil from Morocco. Penetrates the hair follicle and leaves hair frizz free. Prevents split ends and creates instant shine without the oily residue. Safe for color treated hair. That's awesome because I obviously have color treated hair and I'm always looking for a good oil to use to keep it moisturized, hydrated, and silky. So this is exciting and it's a pretty good size sample. I mean, look at this. Is this full size or a sample size? It does not say, but it is $30, so that's not bad. So that's the third item, and the last item, oh, that's a larger, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, this is Ofra Professional Magnetic Palette. This is worth $59. So this Professional Magnetic Palette, made exclusively for BoxyCharm, comes equipped with a mix of shimmer and matte eyeshadows that normally retail for $10 for each pan. This versatile formula can be applied dry for subtle shading or damp for more intense color. It is also hypoallergenic and suitable for even the most sensitive eye areas. Nice. So we've got a palette. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six eyeshadows. That's awesome. It's a very neutral color scheme. And there is some dust in there. You guys can see how some of the glitter has kind of gotten around, but... Ooh, that's pretty. Let's see. Okay, the kids screaming in the background. Always fun. But there's four of the six. Two, three, four. Okay, and they're kind of hit or miss-ish. Because the very, very pale one is kind of close to my... Skin color, so it's right here, it's a matte, and then you've got the gray, the brown, and there should be a shimmery one. Oh, and then the shimmery one in between the gray and brown. You guys can see that all that well. So, yeah, I think I like the shimmery, kind of yellowish one. There's a heavier swatch. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it better there. That's going to be pretty all over the lid. I'm not sure about this matte, it might be good for like setting, like my, um, what do you call it? I apply primer, I like to set it with the powder, so that could be good because it's very, very close to my skin tone. And let's see, let's wipe this off. So we can try the other two for you guys. I like the gray. I'm going to say I do really like that grayish color. The brown's not really my cup of tea, but browns just aren't. Alright, so then we've got like a blackish shade and a deeper brown right there, those two. So there's the deeper brown. Ooh, that's pretty. And then like the blackish kind of. It almost reminds me of Max Night Divine because it's not quite black. It's got a little bit of a blue tone and it's like satiny. It's not quite matte. And if these have names, I will list them down below in the info bar for you guys. But that is pretty cool. And I have been depotting my palettes quite a bit lately. I kind of want to get rid of a lot of the bulk that I have in my collection. So if you're interested in seeing a video on depotting, let me know by leaving a comment or clicking the like button. Um, I'll be glad to do that. I 
I don't know if I will or not. Um, oh, and it does have names. Okay, so it's Bohemian Buttercup Smoke Iron Truffle and Millennium Gold. But it's impossible to know which one's which. I mean, some of them are pretty e pretty obvious. But other ones you're like, hmm. Anyways, so there you have it. I wonder if they're in order. No, it doesn't make sense by the way they're packaged, so I don't know. Anyways, that is everything that I got in this month's subscriptions. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more videos. I will see you very soon. And take care. <laughs> Bye.